Hey guys, today we get to talk about Portal Free Kingdoms. Out of all the portals, this is by far the most expensive one. I'll just go ahead and say this. If you have any of these cards with this symbol, you probably should put them out of bulk. Even if they're commons, even if they are land. Most of these cards are quite expensive. Uh, they don't need, they don't, it doesn't have to be a rare, it can be uncommon, it can be even uncommon. And we'll go over the top nine. Imperial Seal at one. $600 card. It has since dropped. I believe it is a judge promo right now. Beautiful card. Very, very good. It's exactly, it does exactly what Vampiric Tutor does. Portal was interesting. And I think we can definitely, I would suggest for Wizard of the Coast to, also, to make another Portal set. Portal, you had lots of great cards, like uh, the Tutors, all, all very good. Uh, Personal Tutor, Sylvan Tutor, all of them are amazing. And they're just kind of like cards that we love, but with different names, and therefore far more valuable. Capture of Jinjo, free and double blue. You take another turn. This is just Time Warp, warp which is a, a $10 card. I believe the Portal Second Age uh, Temporal Manipulation is a $50 card, but this one is a $440 card because if you want to do that, you want to take extra turns, you will go ahead and you will have every copy of those in your deck. I, I like it. I mean, I like having the same card and giving it a different name and then printing it. Like, could we do that with the reserve list? Probably not, but I hope that in the future it's considered. I miss Portal. I miss just the random stuff. So the card, some most of the cards are not as good, but sometimes they're exactly the same. Here we have a unique card in Zodiac Dragon. Zodiac Dragon is a $330 card. We had all 12 of the Zodiac animals. Dragons, tigers, but not roosters. Uh rats like but not all of them were rares right i think the tiger was a rare i'm guessing a rooster was a uncommon i don't know but there was a bunch of animals and one for each month of the zodiac or one for each year of the zodiac and i think it was pretty cool i liked it it was very very clever the animals themselves were not great the zodiac dragon is the be best one of the bunch so it's actually quite good. When you discard it from your hand, you get it back to your hand. So you can go infinite with it quite easily. But is it $300? No. I would be a buyer at 50 I think printing it in Iconic Masters. Like what if Iconic Masters was just Portal Free Kingdoms? That would be very great. That would, there are so many good cards in Portal Free Kingdoms, including the Uncommon Imperial Recruiter, a legacy staple. This is a $275 card. So Force of Will, what would the Force of Will hit? 100? Wasteland was like 75. This one eclipses both Force of Will and Wasteland and it's not on the reserve list. Portal Free Kingdoms is kind of strange because the cards themselves are very, very expensive due to the limited availability, but they have been reprinted. And pretty much everything. Like they've been reprinted Commander. They've been reprinted in... Uh, what's that set? Commander's Arsenal. When you had Dino Chan. I thought that was a great investment. They've been reprinted as Judge promos. They've been altered slightly in Conspiracy. Like Imperial Recruiter is slightly different from the other one. And Conspir uh, in Conspiracy, they've been reprinted as Masterpieces. Have they been reprinted as masterpieces? Probably not. No, they have not. Anyway, <laughs> this is Armageddon. It's like so simple, right? Hey, take cards people love. People in EDH are going to want more than one copy of that card because repetition is very important. And hence why tutors are always so expensive. And then just uh, make a set. Take all the... Like instead of Snapcaster Mage, call him Amazing Mage. And he costs like two in a blue instead of one in a blue. And he does the same thing. And put him in the portal set. 
that's what they did back in the day. I mean, that's exactly what they did. They make all the tutors kind of weak. Slide of hand was kind of weak. All these things were not very strong cards, but the accumulation, so the the fact that they were great cards to begin with, if you made them slightly weaker, they were still good cards. And that's what I can appreciate most about Portal. It was a good time. It was a fantastic time to play Magic. Now, let's talk about this card. It is a common, a common. If we could reprint this as a common, it would be fantastic. It would be a $96. If we just reprint this as common, we could sell Iconic Masters with nothing else in it. Everything else is garbage, but this was a common. Now, yes, the price will take a ton, but the expected value, if you have a common and it's $96, the expected value of your booster pack is like insane, right? It's insane. And you can pull what? Like a play set of these at least, maybe four or five, six of these. Six hundred like six hundred dollars worth of this common. Maybe no, that's I think that's too greedy. Okay, let's say five hundred dollars worth of this common. It's insane. This card was worth almost no money. Then it happened buyout. Why is it buyout? You know what card this is? It's rampant growth. It's rampant growth. Honestly, just take very very good cards. Take Liliana the Veil. Call her Liliana of the something of of the dress, and then make her slightly weaker for the portal players, of course, the beginning players, and then people would still buy it. Now, this is a good general uh, horsemanship, which we don't see very often. Two double black, free two. On your turn before you attack, you may have uh, put it him into your graveyard to return a black card from your graveyard to your hand nah, not the best right i'm pretty sure this was a judge promo or in one of those weird commander arsenal sets like honestly i, I don't know why you don't we don't do portal anymore the, there is value so it's not like oh portal was so core sets or sometimes core sets don't have value but Portal has always had value because of its tutors, because of its unique cards, even its land are more valuable. It just, it's old school magic. It's old school magic. Uh, next we have Riding the Dilu Horse, which is two in a green. Any one creature gets plus two plus two and gains horsemanship, which means for m majority of magic players, it cannot be blocked. Is this card fantastic? Is it like something that is awesome? No, it's not really groundbreaking. You're paying two and a green to get plus two plus two unblockable. There's way better things you can be doing for two and a green. Plus it's a sorcery, so you have to kind of attack with it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I think we should reprint all these cards. I think we should just reprint the set and call it Iconic Masters. Like, I think that's, that would be amazing. Like, that would be truly incredible and definitely worth the money. If Iconic Masters was just Portal Free Kingdoms, it would sell like hotcakes. All the EDH players would be like crazy about these cards because I need these cards. I cannot buy these cards because they're too expensive for me. But would I like them? Yes. Am I willing to pay $70 for Don Joe? This really, really ugly card. Uh, the Tyrant, uh, four in a red for uh, comes into play. Choose one of your opponent's creatures. That creature deals damage to him equal him or her equal to its power. Mm, I could see that being good. There are very big creatures out there, but not seventy dollars good. I could I could see something where hey let's go let's take. Uh, Let's say we're going to take a um, Mediterranean theme set and we're going to base it on Alexander the Great. And we just create this, Al you know, portal, Alexander the Great. And we took all the great magic cards we wanted, including Tutors, Wrath of God effects, and Day of Judgment effects, and newer things, Snapcaster, Lily. And then we made them slightly weaker and gave them different names and made the artwork different, right? I could see that selling like hotcakes. I don't know why we don't do it anymore. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.